Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. Today, we're going to talk about rally trapping again, because single type rally traps are back in a big way, and seems to be fairly easier to set up than a not single type rally trap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some hits we had, show our thought process on this, and then I'm going to show you some caps that we got, and show you why they're capping now against maxed out rallies. So, sped this one up a little bit, this is going to be three hits on this guy. And so the first one he takes really well. See, he only lost 11 million troops. But look at the preemptive strike phase right there. Everything was done in preemptive. See how much attack he had left? That's the key right here, how much attack he had left. That's why he stopped us during preemptive. Scroll down, look at his main stats. He's got a decent amount of troop attack, a lot of troop attack debuff. So this is like a Dark Lord Crimson Steel mixture with a decent amount of troops on bottom. So that was the first one. We only killed 11 million. We got stopped during preemptive strike phase. So we adjust our setup to try to hit him again and this time get through the preemptive strike phase because that is what is important about rallying and taking rallies right now. So we look at the next hit here. Go look at that. This time we got a lot more kills. As you can see, we got 1.1 billion power damage there. Scroll down and look at it. We're in the main attack phase. See the preemptive phase in the main attack? And look at our stats now. We left some defense and some HP on him, but we got his attack a whole lot lower. And so that's what we're getting at with this uh, video here. And what I'm trying to show you is you see he didn't change his setup at all. He's got 3 billion T4 on bottom. That's a lot of troops. But we got his attack almost zeroed. We got his defense and HP almost zeroed. So now we're going to hit him again. We've adjusted a little bit further. And we're going to go one more time. He's taking one more hit. So first hit we killed 11 million. Second hit we killed 148 million. Third hit we're going to hit right now, and we've kind of zeroed in on his stats and see that we killed 381 million. So, obviously it got a lot better as we went in. Look at the preemptive strike phase and the main attack phase. Almost all of our kills came in the main attack phase. We've got his attack nearly zeroed. we got his defense and his HP all the way zeroed. So, number one, dangerous to take multiple rallies unless you're set up like a like a boss. Anubis was set up really well. As you saw, he, took, he only got to 11 million kills on the first one. Just reviewing these. We only got 11 million kills in the first one because we got stopped in preemptive. Second one, we got more because we got through the preemptive phase. And then the third one, we're going to get a whole lot more because we got through the preemptive phase and we got his stats zeroed. So what is a way that we can stop rallies during the preemptive phase? Here's the third hit. As you can see, look at all those kills that we got in the main phase. That's because we had all of our guys still attacking in the main phase. So now let's look at some hits that I did today. Uh, just this morning during Alliance War on ROE. Speed mine in. See the little red number pop up over heroes, which means, uh-oh, I got to go chop my own hero. So, got capped several times, got a couple burns, but look at this. If we look, you see I got zero kills. So that tells me he's got a lot of troops, and that also tells me that he stopped me in preemptive. So let's look at the guy that capped me a lot of times today. He's got 220 million T5 archers. He's got a lot of reinforcements. Look at his archer attack, defense, and HP. He is only archers on bottom, T5. He's got 8,265 archer attack, almost 3,000 defense, 3,000 HP on only archers. Scroll down, you look at his troop stuff. His troop stuff, he's got another couple thousand in there as well once we get there. So he's got another 3,000 troop attack, 1,700 defense, and 1,800 HP. So his single type stats on archers are massive. And for a while now, we've been going away from single type troops because of leverage. And because of Crimson Gear and just the fact that we could get single type HP almost zero to the point that uh, we could really blow up single type traps. But now, with the addition of Aspirant, Ferocious, and Willful Gear, that's different. And so let's go and look at uh, Achilles here. Achilles has full Agi Gear, full agility. Look at my attack is 3115, defense and HP are 952. So if I swap my Lance of Agility right here in for a purple uh, ferocious thing, if I can find it, because it's, it's all, I don't know what it looks like, number one. And anyways, it's going to take me a second to find it because I got a whole lot of purple things because I'm a hoarder. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to swap in my ferocious weapon because what we're looking for now is we want to stop in preemptive phase. I swapped the ferocious sword in, a purple ferocious sword. Scroll down, I'm going to swap in a purple ferocious um, offhand as well. And what we're looking for is we do not want our attack to get zeroed. And obviously we want as much defense and HP as we can get. So if we now look at Achilles' stats with all Agi gear and purple stuff, I'm up to 4705. 
1183 defense and HP. So adding the purple ferocious stuff increased my stats by that much. And that means that I'm not going to get a, uh, attack zeroed, hopefully. And if we go look at Haral, I put uh, level 2 aspirant stuff on there. Look at Haral's infantry stats. 58, 33, 14, 23, 14, 23. That's massive. And so you can look into a single type troop set, troop stack now, uh, level 4, level 5, T4, T5 troops is what you want to do. T3 going to be dangerous because of the bunny rabbits hopping around there now. But if you go and you look at these things over here on Aspirant and uh, everything else like that, if you look at the head and the chest, you don't really want to swap in the head and the chest yet. Those only give debuffs. And the set bonuses, not really worth it for defense yet. But we're seeing a ton of single type traps that are doing really well now. It's just like the olden days. And the reason for that is because of these new Aspirant, Willful, and Ferocious weapons mixed in with single type gear. Or you can even mix them in with Crimson Steel gear if you've got enough attack. Or you want, like, each one of these weapons is basically like running Bravery Blade. So we learned today that, number one, Kane hits harder than me, as we saw. And number two, that single type traps seem to be working extremely well. So like, subscribe, go out there, be careful, don't get blown up. Remember that T3 bunnies are blowing everything up right now.